what's going on man today is the 10th of october 2024 it's your boy chris and welcome into another edition of the crispy captain show today we are doing team previews and we got the brooklyn nets and my los angeles lakers on deck for today uh, these should be pretty uh, you know I, I think it'll be too short uh you know previews for uh, for these teams not a lot to talk about with the brooklyn nets and you know not a lot to talk about in my opinion for the los angeles lakers either it'll be a little bit more depth there but i don't know man we'll, we'll, we'll talk about them always want to do our due diligence and figure out if there's a way that you know we want to play these teams and we'll, we'll let's just jump right into it um team preview calendar just a reminder update for people who may this may be your first time watching the channel uh, every single day i'm a day behind of course because today's the 10th is supposed to be nicks and the clippers which that video will come out here shortly but uh we're day behind on the brooklyn nets and the los angeles lakers so it looks like we have what two four six eight ten twelve twelve more teams left next tuesday we should be wrapping up preseason wraps up next friday and we got real basketball coming real basketball uh very very soon so definitely check out these team previews if you have not just to kind of get yourself caught up acclimated reacclimated with the teams and some of the moves that have been made so when it comes time to bet, you already know, you know, who's in the rotation, who who's left the team, who's coaching the team, what the new schemes are, projected win totals. We're going through all of those things on the preview. So let's get right into the Brooklyn Nets, man. Let me get my notes up real quick. Um, so this Brooklyn Nets team, um, first thing that jumped out to me, I mean, I already knew the team was going to be bad, but first thing that jumped out to me or projected to do bad, I guess I should say. It could go to the championship. No, I'm just kidding. Um, first thing that you know that jumped out to me was bottom right corner. Regular season win total 18 and a half. It is minus 132 over on FanDuel, so it's 19 and a half at most other books. But I mean that that's a clear indication of how you know well um, you know the sports books think that this team is going to be this season, which is really not that good at all um, to make the playoffs. Even just to make the playoffs, you can get this team at a plus. Uh, you can get them at a plus 3,000 on DraftKings. And I mean, they have no, they have absolutely no chance to win the athletic division, but they're plus 75,000 over there as well. Um, so what did they do? They did make a couple changes, but this is going to be a rebuilding year for Brooklyn. Um, you know, you bring in a new coach, Jordan, Jordy Fernandez. I think he's going to be a defensive minded coach. I think he's, you know, going to try to get the guys to buy in, but. I mean, they don't have but so much. You you do add Bogdanovich, which will give them some three point shooting. Killing and Hayes is back into the NBA as well. If you if you know, you know. Uh, and Shake Milton comes over. I think he was in Philly last year. Zaire Williams comes over. So you know they got some guys that can shoot the ball, that can stretch the floor. But defensively, I think they took a big step back, losing you know Mikael Bridges, sending him up the street to Brooklyn. Uh, Lonnie Walker is in the fourth is also in Boston now. Um, so, you know, you know, you you still going to have some of those, you know, usual suspects there. Cam Thomas is probably going to shoot the ball 30 times a game this season. Uh, may want to get on his props early into the season before the, those numbers get too inflated. And um, you still got Nicholas Claxton there as well. Um, Trenton Wofford was somebody that they resigned last year also. But, you know, this this next team was. They, they were 50% last year around Christmas. And um, then they just kind of took a deep, deep tailspin. They finished 32 of 50 last season, uh, ended up in a draft lottery. Um, and yeah, it, I mean, it was pretty much all bad for this team. Like I said, Cam Thomas would, would be what I would be looking at if I'm, you know, doing anything with this, uh, you know, with this team at all. Um, 22 and a half points per game last season. Uh, Bridges was this was their number two leading score. He only averaged nineteen point six. Yeah, it's just it's just not a lot, man. Really, honestly, since they made the Kevin Durant trade and the uh, you know got Kyrie up out of there, um, so we'll see. I'm not looking to bet the Nets. I do think they'll be double digit dogs a lot this season, indicative of their win total. But I already feel like we kind of took too much time, you know, back in this, uh, you know, just talking about this team. It's not a team that I'm gonna be looking to bet on this season. We'll see how it goes though. Next team up is my Los Angeles Lakers. Uh, the Lakers, um, just kind of looking at the additions and subtractions first. This was a team that, you know, didn't shake up too much and it's really hard to do so when you got LeBron James. You got to pay a guy like LeBron and Anthony Davis at the same time. 
uh, Coach JJ Reddick, you know, is in. Ham Sandwich is out. You get Christian Coloco, who played for the Toronto Raptors last season. And um, they, of course, draft Dalton Connect and Bronny James, LeBron James' son. Um, you also lose Spencer Dinwiddie. He's back in Dallas. Torian Prince is in Milwaukee, playing with the with the Milwaukee Bucks. Um, so the the Lakers are uh, always an interesting team. They won the you know the the the, the play in tournament last year. First team never you know host host that championship, and you know a lot of their success came from uh, you know a healthy Anthony Davis. When Anthony Davis is healthy. Uh, this team is, you know, it's night and day difference because if you've been following the Lakers for some time now, you know that there's no backline, you know, rim defense uh, without Anthony Davis on the floor. You got LeBron James playing, uh, you know, yet another year of basketball, even though he's still playing at a very high level. You expect him to rest some and for his minutes to be monitored um, this season. You can see the strength of schedule. The Lakers have the 12th most difficult schedule. 11 games with the rest advantage, 11 games uh, without 10 games without the rest advantage. But I will say this. They do have a league low 13 back to backs this season. That's the, actually the lowest amount of any team uh, in the in the WNB uh, in the WBA in the NBA this season. Um, so that's going to be helpful, especially for resting, you know, some of the older guys on this team. For me, it kind of feels like, you know, the the kryptonite for the Lakers have been the Dallas map has been the Denver Nuggets for such a long time. And, um, you know, that's just uh, it's, un it's unfortunate that they keep running into a Denver team. Now, this Denver team is not as good this season. So if the Lakers, you know, do run into Denver for a third straight season, there is potential that they could beat that, you know, that, this Denver team. And this is my opinion. I don't think the Denver is going to be as good. Uh, as they were over the past few years with the, you know, the subtractions that they made. So I might have mind said that this Laker team can be good. But, you know, I talked about this whenever I talk about any of the good teams from the Western Conference is that the top of the Western Conference is going to be crowded, man. All of the teams that were there last year are projected to be back. If anything, you expect the San Antonio Spurs to win a few more games, the Phoenix Suns to be a little bit more healthier and to win, you know, potentially win a few more games. I think you know, I continue to talk about OKC and thinking they take a step in the right direction, uh, you know, with the addition of uh, Alex Caruso and, um, you know, Isaiah Hardenstein. Then you also got the Timberwolves. They'll be back in the mix again. The, the Golden State Warriors, Sacramento Kings, like that whole Pacific division is going to be tough, which is why the Lakers are plus 500 to win their division. Uh, and you can get them. You know, I thought it was pretty interesting for the Lakers to make the playoffs at minus 105. Uh, that, that is a little interesting to me. I do think they are a playoff team, but, you know, injuries going, you know, you, you need the injury health and injury luck to, to, to stay what it was last year, in my opinion, for this team to make the playoffs. Because one, one injury to Anthony Davis for too long of a season and, you know, you're done. Um, so, yeah, regular season win total at 43 and a half. It does seem like it's pretty low, but my, my consensus on the Lakers win total over the last three years have all been the same. They don't care about how many games they win, in my opinion. Of course, they will want to, you know, avoid the play-in tournament. But, you know, push come to shove, they just want a chance to get into the dance, I think, in my opinion. That's just always how I view the Lakers. Um, LeBron James has been able to go on the road and win playoff series in his, in his career, you know, for a very long time. So it wouldn't surprise me, you know, if, um, if there were, you know, they weren't gunning for, you know, trying to win a certain amount of games. Now, not not that they want to win, they they would didn't want to win, but LeBron's going to be resting, you know, a few of these back to backs, and some of these young guys are going to have to step up. I like, you know, what I'm hearing from camp with Max Christie. Uh, sounds like he's going, you know, get a lot of those minutes this year. He, he's a pretty good defender, somebody that can attack and get downhill, spread the floor, shoot the three point ball as well. Um, and you're going to need to, you know, you're going to need all of that and more, um, especially from some of the younger guys. It'd be nice if, you know, Dalton Connect can can actually knock down some threes this this season in his rookie year. Um, but we'll see, you know, we'll see how all of that goes. Um, this is the, uh, I just, I wish the Lakers could have done a little bit more. Let's just put it like that. I'd be a little bit more, uh, you know, happy if, if uh, I'd be a little happier if the Lakers had made a, a few more off season acquisitions, but you know, everything kind of fell through for the Lakers. So, you know, we're talks about them, you know, trying to get some of those free agents and none of them, all of them kind of fell through. It was DeMar DeRozan. It was, uh, you know, it, I can't remember everybody, but it was it was a lot of free agents that, you know, didn't end up 
wanting to come to play uh, with LeBron James, and Anthony Davis. So, uh, like I said, I haven't made any official bets yet on any of the uh, on any of the uh, future markets, but um, and I doubt I make one on the Lakers either. But I, I'll do my due diligence. Like I said, wait till the season, you know, gets really, really close, uh, so I can see what happens in the preseason. Trying to avoid some of those, you know, injuries that are, seem to be nagging teams early into the season. And uh, we'll make some we'll make some bets, uh, you know, right before maybe four or five future bets we'll make uh, and I'll send out to the members right before the season gets started. Um, and that'll be it. Resources that I use as always are here. Check these out if you guys are interested. 20 uh, percent off over at Oz Jam. Referral link is in the description. CBC. And then same thing for Moneyball. The referral link in the description of the video as well. 50 percent off your first month using code Crispy Capping with two P's and two N's. Uh, and that'll be it for this episode. Let me know what you guys are thinking about the Brooklyn Nets and the ball in the uh, Los Angeles Lakers in the comment section. You like their, you know, win total to go over under. Uh, if you had a bet, what would it be on the Brooklyn Nets and the Los Angeles Lakers? Hit the like button for me on the way out. And I'll catch you guys in the next one, man. Come out.